Today I'll show you how to get this high-end look from a Dollar Tree pot. Keep watching. It's almost springtime and Dollar Tree has put out a variety of pots. So this little plastic pot, little planter, um, has really pretty design on it. So it's got some raised areas here. I think it's a six by six. Just measuring that for you. I'm pretty sure it said it on the on the bottom of the pot. That's just for your information. I'm gonna use some linen white chalk paint. This paintbrush that came from Dollar Tree in a two pack. These are succulents that also came from the Dollar Tree originally. I got them from Goodwill. All right. We're gonna start, of course, by cleaning the pot and taking the sticker off. It came off so easy this time, I cannot believe it. Then I'm gonna take my little chip brush here and start applying this paint. This is new for me, I've never done this before, so we're gonna to learn together. You're gonna to coat the whole paint and you're gonna have some areas that are streaky like this. Not gonna be a big concern. We're gonna set it aside to let it dry. This little trick is to put your paintbrush inside of a Ziploc bag. Keep it airtight with very little air. On the inside, set it aside. It'll be ready for you when it's time for the second coat. Now I went ahead and put the second coat on here. A little more carefully, I'm showing you this in fast motion, not so you don't get too bored, but I'm laying the paintbrush kind of flat because I didn't, I was, I had a fear that I was going to pull the top, the first layer up, but laying it flat like this um, might have helped. Um, I'm not entirely sure, like I said, this is the first time I've done it, but my experience with this is, yay, it worked. So I'm just laying it on there kind of thick and I'm being sure to get around the bottom of the pot where it might be seen when it's sitting down flat so that you don't see any of that bright green through there. Just going to do the entire thing like this. I love to paint. This is so relaxing to me. Okay, so once you get that done, I had some hairs coming out of my brush. Just picked it out. No big deal because we want texture in this, so texture is fine. I could have left it actually. But I'm going to go ahead and get the lip and right down the inside, even though you're not going to be able to see this with the, uh, the little project that I do. Um, so stick around so you can see how that turns out also. Just going to put it part ways down. Lid back on the paint. Got to take it over here to dry. Okay, so here we go. This is it dried. You see I left a hair in there. This is what it looks like. Results may vary. Looks pretty good like that to me. You can see the brush strokes and I like it. So what we're going to do next is kind of age it. We want it to look kind of like pottery or like um, something made from clay. So I'm going to take a little bit of this antique wax, swirl it around here in this water going to make um, like a light stain. I'm going to take this bath sponge from Dollar Tree, just cut a section out so it's easier to work with. Dip it down in there, squeeze it out, and we're going to start laying this on. Now you want to be sure that you squeeze a good bit of that water out or you're going to lift the paint off of here. Um, I'll show you, <laughs> I'll show you that shortly what that looks like because yes, I did that, so you don't have to. So just be sure that you use as little water, water as possible. Maybe use less than I did when I mixed it up. Okay, so I'm just giving this a good wash of this, not rubbing hard, just going over the surface, going over all of those little raised areas. And then once I get it on, I'm going back over it with a uh, tissue here, but you can use um, a dry cloth, whatever you have, and just gently take off the rest um, that's wet. Take the excess off. It doesn't have to be even. You want it to look like it's been sitting outside. 
Okay, so you see it looks pretty good here. And oh, look at there. Some little spots there and up here where I might have rubbed too hard or let the water sit on too long. So just to be, be very careful. The stain solution, I mean. But it looks good, right? Okay, so now we're going to really make it look nice. We're going to take some floral foam. I'm just showing you that you can just cut into it and break it and leave it inside of the plastic for less mess. Um, that has its good points and its bad points, which I'll show you in a bit. I'm gonna fill in the bottom of the pot or the planter with just a little bit of tissue and then take my pieces of floral foam, which I have stuck together with a little glue, and I'm tucking in my papers just to hold them still. And the plastic is still on the one in the bottom. All right, so I'm trying to make sure, as far as orientation, that I have the little, the little parts where the paint came off in the back. I'm going to use some Spanish moss. This is from my yard. There's special ways that you have to treat it when you get it from outside, so you get all the bugs out, and you certainly don't want it to be wet. But you can Google that and see how to do it. I've had this for quite some time. Just going to cover up my moss. I want a base, and the moss looks good actually with succulents, in my opinion although they don't grow together normally that way. I didn't have any rocks. We're gonna make it work. Okay, so I have a variety of succulents and I'm just gonna choose which one I want to be the center and I'm just gonna work around that one. They're pretty big, they take up a good bit of space. So um, just push them in there. I'm not gonna put them straight up. I want them to go, now that I have one going straight up in the middle, the rest of them are going to go kind of slanted. So this is what I mean. I was hitting the plastic and this stem is so thick on here, I could not get it to break through. So I just took my shears, poked a hole in it, and then slid it right down in there. Okay, then I'm going to continue around with the variety. This would probably look nice too if you had the ones that are the pastel colors, the different colors, maybe for spring. That would be cute. And I don't want any bald spots, so I'm just kind of working and, and looking at all the angles of it. I stand up from time to time and look into the camera to see what you guys can see. Obviously, I was a little bit out of out of the camera's space here. And that was just pushed down too far. So I raised it up a little bit to get it um, a little bit rounder on the top. And so there we go. Now we have more room for that one. All right, nothing to it. Simple, simple. And this is a result. It has all dried nicely. And I have my little succulents in there. You can trim up that moss so that it's not as noticeable if that's something that you, you think you wanna do. And this is my end result. Can you believe that was a plastic Dollar Tree pot? It looks so much more high-end now. Such a nice look now. Great for spring and summer. Should last you all the way up until fall. Thank you guys so much for watching. My subscribers are at the 478 mark now, so yay! We've grown a little bit. Our family has grown a little bit, so be sure if you're new, you introduce yourself in the comment section so we can all say hi to you. Welcome back to you guys who have been here for a while. I appreciate your support so much. And I want you to know that if you're considering doing crafts, just, just do them. If you're considering making a YouTube channel, go for it. Just do that. You know, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's fun. I'm having fun doing this. I really, my creativity is just blossomed, I think. And now my little family is growing here on YouTube, so your support means a lot to me. Express yourself, do what brings you joy, and whatever makes you happy, whatever you like. Don't let anybody tell you that your style is wrong or that what you're doing is, is not right. If it makes you happy, then it is great. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.